Have you ever been told that eating fish is one of the best ways to protect your heart and prevent a stroke? What if that same advice could quietly raise your risk instead? Heart surgeons are now warning that several common fish, the ones many people over 60 eat every week, may slowly work against your arteries. Not suddenly or dramatically, but silently, in ways you would never feel until a stroke or heart event appears without warning. Some fish can carry substances that build up over time, creating inflammation inside blood vessels and making it harder for blood to flow freely to the brain. And as we age, those subtle changes can make the difference between a healthy heart and a dangerous blockage. In this educational video, we'll reveal five fish that experts suggest limiting and we'll share the safer choices that may better support circulation, heart strength, and brain health after 60. And make sure you keep watching until number one because it's one of the most surprising fish of all and it's found on dinner tables across the country. If protecting yourself from a stroke matters to you, Tap subscribe and stay with us because what you're about to learn could change the way you look at seafood forever. Number five, fried fish. It's golden, crispy, and delicious. The kind of comfort food that smells like family dinners and weekend get togethers. But for people over 60, fried fish is also one of the easiest ways to unknowingly increase your stroke risk. And here's the thing, the danger isn't really the fish itself. It's the oil, the heat, and the chemistry that happens when you fry it. When fish is dropped into hot oil, the heart-healthy omega-3 fats that normally protect your arteries begin to break down. What replaces them are damaged fats and compounds called advanced glycation end products, or AGEs, tiny molecules that form when food browns at very high temperatures. According to experts from the Harvard School of Public Health, those AGEs can quietly inflame the lining of your blood vessels. You won't feel it happening. But over time, that inflammation makes your arteries stiffer and your blood flow weaker to conditions that are closely linked to stroke risk in older adults. And the science goes even further. A major study published in the Journal of the American Heart Association known as the REGARD study followed more than 30,000 adults for over a decade. Researchers found that people who ate fried fish twice or more per week had a significantly higher rate of stroke and heart problems compared with those who baked or grilled their fish instead. Part of the reason, according to the Cleveland Clinic, is that frying destroys protective omega-3 seconds while adding oxidized oils, salt, and trans fats, all of which can raise blood pressure and thicken the blood. In other words, a plate of fried fish can quietly create the perfect storm inside aging arteries. But there's an easy fix. If you love fish, you don't need to stop eating it. Just change the way you cook it. When fish is baked, grilled, or air fried at moderate temperatures, those omega-3 fats stay intact. They help reduce inflammation instead of fueling it. Harvard researchers found that people who regularly ate baked or broiled fish had lower stroke rates and better artery flexibility, especially after 60. So the next time that fryer starts to sizzle, remember this. It's not about giving up flavor. It's about protecting your circulation, your heart, and your brain. Because the way you cook your fish can decide whether it strengthens your arteries or silently works against them. Number four, tilapia. It's affordable, mild, and easy to cook. For many families, tilapia has become the go-to fish for quick, healthy meals. But here's what most people don't realize. Tilapia may not be as heart-friendly as it looks, especially after 60. The problem isn't that tilapia is poisonous or unsafe. It's that most tilapia today is farmed, and what these fish are fed changes the very structure of their fat. Instead of being rich in omega-3 fatty acids, the kind that protect arteries and reduce inflammation, farmed tilapia are loaded with omega-6 fats from soy and corn-based feed. And when that balance between omega-3 and omega-6 tips too far in the wrong direction, the body starts producing more inflammatory compounds. According to researchers at Wake Forest University, tilapia's fatty acid profile may actually provoke more inflammation than eating bacon or hamburger meat. That doesn't mean it's bad, but it does mean that for older adults whose arteries are already more sensitive, that imbalance could quietly increase stroke risk over time. Here's why. Omega-6 fats are not the enemy. We need them in small amounts. But when they dominate the diet, they can lead to chronic low-grade inflammation inside the blood vessels. 
That inflammation makes the inner lining of the arteries, called the endothelium, less flexible. Blood pressure rises, circulation slows, and clots form more easily. Over years, that can set the stage for a stroke. Tilapia is also one of the most commonly imported farmed fish, often raised in crowded ponds where feed quality and water conditions aren't always well regulated. Some studies published in the journal Environmental Research have found that poorly regulated tilapia farms can contain trace contaminants or antibiotic residues that further stress the liver and circulatory system. Again, not in amounts that cause immediate harm, but enough to be a concern with frequent consumption, especially in older adults. So what's the solution? You don't have to cut fish from your diet, just choose smarter. If you like the light taste of tilapia, try rainbow trout instead. Rainbow trout offers a far better balance of omega-3 to omega-6 fats, and studies suggest it supports healthy cholesterol and better blood vessel flexibility. Even a few simple swaps per week can help calm inflammation and support your heart and brain. So remember, tilapia might look light and healthy, but for people over 60, it may quietly fan the flames of inflammation that makes strokes more likely. Choosing trout or wild salmon instead can turn your dinner from artery stress to artery protection. Number three, farmed salmon. For years, salmon has been praised as one of the best foods for heart health. And that reputation is partly true. Wild salmon is rich in omega-3 fats that support circulation and brain function. But here's the hidden side of the story that many people over 60 never hear. Not all salmon is created equal. Most salmon sold today isn't wild, it's farmed. And the difference between the two can be enormous when it comes to long-term heart and stroke risk. In the early 2000s, researchers published a landmark paper in the journal Science showing that farmed salmon contained up to 16 times more polychlorinated biphenyls, or PCBs, than wild salmon. PCBs are industrial chemicals that were banned decades ago, but still linger in the environment, and they build up in farm-raised fish through contaminated feed and water. According to scientists at the Harvard School of Public Health, these chemicals are lipophilic, meaning they store in fat tissues and stay in the body for long periods. Over time, they may trigger systemic inflammation, which can quietly damage the arteries and increase the risk of heart disease and stroke. What makes this especially concerning for older adults is that as we age, our bodies become less efficient at clearing toxins. That means pollutants like PCBs, dioxins, and other industrial residues can stay in circulation longer, putting extra strain on the liver and vascular system. The Environmental Research Journal has reported similar findings, noting that certain farmed fish may also carry trace antibiotics and chemical residues, especially when raised in crowded pens. Those contaminants don't cause sudden illness, but they can interfere with how the body regulates cholesterol, inflammation, and blood pressure, three key factors that influence stroke risk. So what can you do if you love salmon? The answer isn't to avoid it, it's to choose the right kind. When possible, look for wild-caught Alaskan salmon. It naturally contains fewer pollutants, higher omega-3 levels, and a cleaner fat profile that helps keep arteries flexible instead of inflamed. Researchers writing in Environmental Health Perspectives found that switching from farmed to wild salmon can reduce PCB intake by up to 90%. A simple dietary change that may help protect your arteries and your brain over time. So when you pick up that salmon filet at the market, remember this. The color might look the same, but the source makes all the difference. Wild salmon nourishes your heart. Farmed salmon, if eaten too often, may slowly work against it. Number two, king mackerel. It's bold, flavorful, and rich in healthy fats. At first glance, it seems like a perfect heart food. But for people over 60, this particular fish carries a hidden risk that most don't know about mercury. King mackerel is one of the highest mercury fish found in our oceans. According to the US Food and Drug Administration, it tops the list of species older adults, pregnant women, and children should limit or avoid altogether. That's because mercury doesn't just disappear after you eat it. It slowly accumulates inside the body, and over time, it can interfere with how your blood vessels and brain cells communicate. Researchers at the Harvard School of Public Health explain that mercury exposure is linked to oxidative stress and endothelial dysfunction. That's when the thin lining of your arteries becomes inflamed and less able to expand. When that happens, blood pressure rises, blood flow slows, and clots become more likely to form. 
and those clots are what can trigger a stroke. It's not an immediate reaction you won't feel sick after a meal of king mackerel. The danger lies in long-term buildup. For people over 60 whose bodies process toxins more slowly, that buildup can quietly stress the heart and brain for years before symptoms ever appear. A review published in the American Journal of Preventive Medicine found that long-term mercury exposure may increase the risk of cardiovascular events, including ischemic stroke, especially in older adults with high blood pressure or cholesterol. And it's not just king mackerel. Other large predatory fish like swordfish, marlin, and some types of tuna fall into the same category. Because they sit at the top of the food chain, they accumulate mercury from all the smaller fish they eat. The longer they live, the more mercury builds up in their flesh. The American Heart Association recommends choosing lower mercury fish as a safer source of omega-3 seconds. That includes Atlantic mackerel, not king, sardines, anchovies, and trout. These smaller species offer the same heart protective nutrients without the toxic load. So the next time you see a thick fillet of king mackerel at the counter, remember this. The size of the fish often predicts its safety. The bigger the fish, the more mercury it holds. And for those over 60, that hidden metal can quietly turn a heart-healthy meal into a slow vascular strain. Choose the smaller species. Your arteries, your brain, and your long-term health will thank you for it. Number one, swordfish. It's one of the ocean's most powerful predators, prized for its meaty texture and rich flavor. But for people over 60, this impressive fish comes with a serious warning that every cardiologist and heart surgeon agrees on. Swordfish contains some of the highest mercury levels of any seafood on Earth. According to the US Food and Drug Administration, swordfish sits at the very top of their avoid list, alongside shark, tilefish, and king mackerel. That's because mercury accumulates as these fish move up the food chain. By the time swordfish reaches your plate, it's carrying years worth of heavy metal exposure in its flesh. The Harvard School of Public Health explains that chronic mercury intake is linked to oxidative stress and vascular inflammation silent processes that gradually damage the inner lining of your arteries, known as the endothelium. When that lining becomes inflamed, it can't produce enough nitric oxide, the molecule, that keeps arteries relaxed and open. Over time, blood pressure rises, vessels stiffen, and the risk of stroke increases. For adults over 60, that's especially dangerous. As we age, our liver and kidneys become less efficient at filtering out toxins. That means mercury stays in the body longer, quietly stressing both the heart and the brain. Researchers from the American Journal of Epidemiology have reported that older adults with higher mercury levels tend to have a greater incidence of cardiovascular events, including ischemic stroke. You won't feel this damage happening. There's no warning sign, no pain, no obvious symptom, just a slow buildup of pressure inside your arteries. And that's what makes it so dangerous. Heart surgeons caution that the problem isn't eating fish, it's choosing the wrong kind too often. The American Heart Association still encourages two servings of fish per week, but they emphasize smaller, low mercury species as the safer choice. That means skipping swordfish and swapping it for options like wild salmon, sardines, or trout fish that deliver the same omega-3 benefits without the heavy metal burden. Even one small change, like replacing swordfish with wild salmon, can make a big difference over time. Studies suggest that people who eat low mercury, omega-3 rich fish regularly have lower rates of stroke and better vascular flexibility compared to those who eat high mercury species. So the next time you see swordfish on a restaurant menu, remember its size and strength in the ocean come from what it eats. And what it eats may carry more than flavor. For aging arteries, it's a hidden weight your body doesn't need. Choosing lighter, smaller fish is a simple step that helps your circulation stay clean your heart stays strong, and your brain stays sharp. We've just uncovered five types of fish that experts suggest limiting. Not because fish itself is bad, but because some kinds carry toxins, damaged fats, or imbalances that may quietly raise the risk of stroke over time. But the good news is simple. You don't need to give up seafood to protect your heart and brain. You just need to choose the right ones. Wild salmon from Alaska is naturally low in mercury, and rich in omega-3 fats that help your arteries stay flexible. Sardines are small and low in toxins, yet packed with nutrients like calcium and vitamin D that support circulation and bone strength. 
trout offers a clean balance of healthy fats that keep cholesterol in check. Anchovies, though tiny, are powerful sources of heart protective oils. And Atlantic mackerel, the smaller cousin of king mackerel, delivers all the benefits without the heavy metals. These fish support healthy blood flow, reduce inflammation in the vessels, and may lower some of the factors linked to stroke. When you bake, grill, or lightly pan sear them, their natural oils stay intact, helping your body absorb the nutrients that keep your arteries strong and your mind sharp. Remember, your arteries are living tissue. They respond to what you feed them. Every meal is a chance to either tighten or relax them, to either build pressure or release it. Choosing the right fish is not just about diet. It is about protecting your independence, your focus, and your future health. If you found this video helpful, subscribe to Mastering Your Health and stay with us each week. Together, we'll explore practical, science-based ways to stay strong, mobile, and independent long after 60. And share this video with someone you care about. You never know whose next meal might need this information. This video is for educational purposes only. It is not medical advice. Always talk to your doctor before making changes to your diet, medications, or treatment plan.